Welcome back. Joining us now, head coach Keith Adams from UTEP. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. What a year last season, 29 and 4, 15 and 1 in conference play. I saw you the 1st of February when you played Memphis at home. When did you realize that team was going to be special? Well, I thought we were pretty special in a bad way the first half. <laughs> and then the second half, uh, you know, we really showed up in the second half. And Jenzel Gen Nash gave us a big spark. And uh, I think what we proved is we were resilient. Um, really, our success last year stemmed from the season before, um, going through some bumps and bruises and hanging in there. We had we'd lost 12 games by single digits. Right. And I think that all those experiences – uh, really motivated us, and we had really learned a lot from it. And um, fortunately, last season, we, we turned those close games into wins, unlike the year before. Well, you and I were talking last year at a practice before one of the games, and one of the things that stood out in her practices, very competitive practices, mm -hmm. and there was no standing around. And I got the sense at that point that everybody that was on the court bought into your system, and they all kind of came together. They, we definitely were all on the same page, and I think uh, one of the unique things about that team was it was about the team and winning. And, uh, and our kids also, um, I think they learned that, um, you know, how you practice every day, how you prepare, uh, really sets the table up for you to, to be successful or to not be successful. And uh, they really bought in to having good practices. Uh, we didn't have very, very many bad practices, and what few – bad practices we had, um, it, we, it, it bit us. And so right. uh, they really ended up buying into, I always say, you play like you practice. Mm -hmm. And I think they truly, they truly bought in and they believed it, and our experiences showed it. And uh, we had very consistent practices, and we had a very consistent season. Well, obviously the bar is raised very high now for this team. And, and to me, you look at it, you have to say to yourself, those that are returning, the responsibility is now on them to continue. Huge responsibility on our returners. Um, we've we've put a lot a lot on their shoulders. It's going to be really important for them. Uh, they're going to have to produce. They're going to have to bring it every day, and they're going to have to show our newcomers uh, how this thing works. And uh, they're doing a good job with it so far. Um, uh, we've got some really uh, competitive players, and and we have seven kids back. Six of them played a lot on that team last year, so. It's a good nucleus. It's a good foundation. Well, Kayla Thornton, obviously, and, and Kelly Willingham, two of the, the players that stand out in my eyes. Talk about them and, and how they're going to have to improve their game this season. Well, Kelly's done a great job playing the point guard for us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the great thing about Kelly is she's consistent. You know, she she's consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, if she ever comes into my office and says she's having a bad day, I'll be shocked. <laughs> she's a really solid, uh, solid player. Uh, outstanding student just she's just a great kid and she's she sets the tone for our team and uh, she's done a great job of being our point guard I think she understands I want for her to be a lot more vocal mm -hmm. um, she understands the game she's got great basketball IQ so you know one of the things that I'm challenging her is for her to even communicate more as our point guard and uh, she's doing that she's doing that but um, really really good player and a great person expectations are, are, are very tough a lot of times on younger players because you go to the, some of the major men's or ladies programs in the country and there are high expectations. Mm -hmm. Now there are even more expectations on your team. How do you approach that with your team? Do you not mention it? Do you say this is the bar we've set and we're going to try to jump over that bar this year? Well, I, I think the thing that we've done, um, we really want to take a lot of pride in how we play the game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a great game. Um, and I think it's what's really important to us, and, and this is what I've shared with our team and we talk about all the time, is that when we step on the floor in the Haskins Center every day and there's no one in there, it's just us, um, how do we want to play the game when nobody's watching? And, uh, and for us to be really good uh, and to be special, I think you have, to be, you, have, you have to be special and bring it every day. So we're trying to respect the game and we're trying to play it the way that we – we know we should and we feel we should uh, when nobody's watching. Then hopefully that sets the thing up for when people are watching, we're ready to go. Outstanding season last year. Enjoyed watching you. Wishing nothing but the best this year. All right. Thank All right, you coach, so much. Best of luck. Appreciate it.